today in our episode we'll be talking about faith which is neither science nor pseudoscience. One of the biggest challenges that confronts us today is to find a proper definition of faith which is apart from both of, of mentioned items. What's meant by pseudoscience? Pseudoscience, it is defined to be a collection of beliefs or practices mistakenly used by applying the scientific method. In other words, such a stream of thinking in which scientific method is inappropriate during its application. To remind you with the meaning of scientific method, scientific method is defined to be a three-step process, asking why, offering an explanation, and then testing an explanation. So, pseudoscience can be an approach in which the scientific method is broken. I mean here that the scientific method is not entirely fulfilled once we are applying uh, this case on any issue that is related to a pseudoscientific claim. Here, there is a critical point that could be addressed to all of us is relying faith to become a pseudoscientific claim. In our episode, we will find out that faith cannot be regarded as a pseudoscientific claim because this is one of the accusations that atheists are accusing faith to be as such. In order to distinguish between science and pseudoscience, we have to bear in our mind that the difference is completely related to the following. Whether the idea is completely accepted within streams of scientific method or not. And we will see from this example. Number one, we figure out that science cannot be distinguished from pseudoscience simply on the basis of results each produce. I cannot say that this is science and this is fake science because pseudoscience is is exactly the meaning of fake science by means of the quantitativeness of, uh, of results that are performed by these streams of thinking. For example, we cannot say that anything to be tested has to be connected to scientific method or not. The reliability to satisfy the steps of scientific method is an essential part to define whether this is belonging to science or pseudoscience. So, when we are talking about concept of universe, the concept of universe from scientific point of view is always developed as the universe is no longer like the Ptolemy model, a three-dimensional universe. Now the universe can be perceived within four-dimensional space or even higher dimensional space, and each of them has its own way of thinking and, and have some ideas that may enable us to help solving problems in our scientific life. While in pseudoscience, like astrology, we can figure out that ideas are completely blocked and no one is able to change the old concepts willingly to uh, innovate a new idea. No. In pseudoscience, things are still blocked, unchanged at all. So we do not really rely things in, by means of quantitativeness, how many results are obtained, whether this is scientific or not. But the most important part in this case is to find out the reliability to satisfy the scientific method. 
our question now, how faith can be related to this part. Would, would faith be relying to scientific method? Of course not. Because one of the stringent ideas that completely stopped thinking about considering faith as a scientific method is the way of testing. Faith cannot be tested. Why? Because if we dare to test faith, we are completely committing a blasphemy or we are making a transgression against God. Because what we do in this case is exactly one of the actions of Satan. We cannot dare to tempt God. The distinction between science and pseudoscience cannot be drawn along the lines of scientific discipline. Sometimes we have fake subjects and r people relying it to become a scientific part. Why? Because they do not really apply the scientific method. For example, if you say astrology, it's always ended with ology. That means that there is a logic here for stars to know something. Actually, this is the fake way and falsy way to understand this concept. Astrology is no longer a scientific term. Why? Because it relies on something that is completely against the principle of science as well as the concepts of faith. Let me start it from the principles of science. In science, we have an idea which is called correlation is not causation. While in pseudoscience, they stress on that on the contrary, by means that they stick to correlation is becoming a causation. So if we rely co correlation as causation, this means that our faith are completely assigned by such actions that people can know it in advance. And this is completely against the will of God. Because in our praying, we say, Thy will be done. So how can we leave the will of God and sticking to our own way of, of thinking and expecting issues to happen neglecting the power of God. This is a real problem and should be taken into account. The distinction between science and pseudoscience has nothing to do with the distinction between hard science and soft science. So hard science and soft science are two streams of thinking in scientific way by means natural sciences are counted to be hard sciences because they, they have a consistent formulae, a precise experimentation, and ways of detection can be tested from time to time and developed based on the scientific method to be in a such way more deterministic. While in soft sciences, like humanities, only relying on statistics and do not have a precise formula to identify such a case in which can be repeated in several places with different results. That's what we call it so, uh, soft sciences. Genuine science tends to be self-correcting, and this is very important, while in pseudoscience, this virtue is not appropriate or this virtue is not applicable. Why? Because in pseudoscience, they do not really accept the concept of updating ideas. If we go back and, and see that people who are really chewing with, with astrology are relying to observe the universe as being of what they have gazed to the sky. And this vision is, is extremely wrong. Why? Because the universe doesn't look like what we observe it. 
with our naked eyes or even with telescopes. The universe has to be taken in, in higher dimensions to understand how time is actually playing a vital role. While in, in, in pseudoscience, they are still sticking to their old ideas. For example, relying Earth is a center of universe. While in our scientific uh, uh, streams of thinking nowadays, we, ha we, we reach that the universe has no center at all. So finding some ideas to be developed from time to time is really essential to develop sciences and also humanities. While in pseudoscience, this thing doesn't work at all. Genuine science also embraces the concept of skepticism. And skepticism is a, real, is a vital process for developing ideas. On the contrary, if you go and say skepticism is important to update pseudoscience, you will be completely accused by being a narrow-minded. We have to bear in our minds that faith cannot be perceived within the stream of science or pseudoscience. Because if we belong faith to the stream of scientific method, we are exactly making a great blasphemy, or in other words, we are making a heresy. Why? Because we admitted something that doesn't rely to the same frame of reference. So, it is essential to avoid this word, evaluating faith. So we cannot dare to evaluate faith using the scientific method, while in science, evaluating ideas are essential to be developed from time to time. So, this is an essential task to be considered. The arising question, do we examine faith in case of scientific way of thinking? The answer is not. We cannot be able to examine faith. Even we cannot put faith within terms of pseudoscience. Why we cannot put faith within terms of pseudoscience? Because pseudoscience has an idea about relying it to become one of features of science. They claim that it, their, their ideas are somehow belonging to the scientific method. However, if you keep on indelicently to, to, to find out the proper the application of scientific method on pseudoscience, you will find out that one of the, uh, uh, of the items mentioned before, which is asking why or offering explanation or testing explanation, are one of the uh, uh, items which uh, has been mentioned before cannot be satisfied. And that is enough to not uh, regarding it as a scientific issue. However, we should not forget what is meant by a proper faith or in other words, a genuine faith. In order to know the genuine faith, we have to look back to the Bible, see how faith is defined according to Hebrew 11 verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I will stress on the word hoped for. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Science doesn't have in its context the word hope for. While they have two parallel words, probable or possible. So they can say something can be possible to be achieved or probable to be achieved. 
What's the difference? Possible in our in scientific way of thinking means that I do not know precisely the formula that enables me to find its contents. While probable, I know the formula, but with some kind of uncertainty to occur the required issue. What about faith? Do you consider it probable or possible? Surely none of them. Faith is relied to be hoped for. So, we hoped for the evidence of things not seen. And in science, we also rely on seeing issues. There is a famous dictum called, seeing is believing. How this be applicable in terms of, of faith. Surely, seeing is not believing with terms of faith. We have to accept things from Bible because Bible is assigned to know the ways of salvation. We have to stick to our church as our, in our church we can know and practice properly the genuine faith. Let me remind you with this. St. Paul said to his disciple Timothy in the second epistle of Timothy chapter 1 verse 5 when I call to remembrance the genuine faith that in you which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice which is in Greek Luis and Avniki as we know it in our uh, church and I am persuaded is in you also so faith is inherited from our ancestors faith is not be obtained as a new result no faith is always imported from our ancestors and surely our mother the church so we gain faith and practice faith properly in our church so we should not be avoided this privilege we have to be always sticking to our mother, the church. According to that kind of blessings, that when we acquire faith, we start to meditate what has been mentioned in Midnight Praises, to take off the old man and put on the new and superior one, come closer to the greatness of mercy, praise him and exalt him above all. This is what should be in our mission. And also we have to remember this commandment that our Lord Jesus Christ mentioned it in Re Revelation. In Revelation 3, verse 11, our Lord Jesus Christ said to the angel of Philadelphia the following, Behold, I'm coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, that no one may take your crown. Take care. Don't let anyone to take our crown. It is essential for us not to be in temptation. It is essential for us to avoid thinking about faith to be considered neither science nor pseudoscience. Faith is something quite different and any kind of ideas that may deviate 
us from thinking properly about faith should be avoided. May God bless you.